Hello Year 7, today we're going on with some new work which is expanding brackets. So let's fill in the blanks. Expanding, or in other words, eliminating brackets involves writing an algebraic expression. So fill that in here, algebraic expression. without brackets. So the whole goal here is that we're going to have these kind of things here with the brackets in them and we want to expand them so that there are no longer any brackets in our expressions. Okay now I'm going to show you two different methods to do this and it's the second method that I'm going to want you to practice most of okay. But first of all let's look at process number one, question number one. Repeat the expression that is inside the bracket and then collect the terms. The number outside the bracket is the number of repeats. So what that's saying is if I have 2 at the front of a plus k, it means I want to add a plus k together twice. So in other words, I have a plus k, there it is once, and then I want to add to that again another a plus k. All right, that's two lots of a plus k, correct? Then by collecting up like terms, we can simplify that. So a and plus another a would be 2a. And then if we look at the k's, we have k plus another k makes 2k, a positive 2k. All right, let's try that again. So if I have a three at the front of this bracket, that means I want everything in that bracket added together three times. So I will have two M plus five, that's once. Then I want another one, two M plus five, that's the second one. And then the third one is two M plus five. And you could imagine that this would get quite long if I wanted a 7 at the front of a bracket or an 8. You can see some big numbers down in question 2 here. This could become quite a tedious process. We want a shorter way. But let's finish this question first. So first of all, let's add together the m's. 2m plus another 2m plus another 2m. 2 plus 2 plus 2 makes 6m. Now all of the constants, all these fives here. We have five plus another five plus another five makes a positive 15. Okay, so while this process works, as I said before, it actually can become quite a long process if the number at the front is a big number. So we want a bit of a shortcut to do this. And what actually happens or how it works is that whatever number is at the front, if you multiply it by each thing inside the bracket, you will get your answer. So for example, if I multiply two times a, I get two a. Then I have a plus sign and I want to go two times k and that gives me two k. And I get straight to the answer without having to do that extra working out step. Okay, and that will always work. So let's have a look at these next few questions in question two and use our shorter method to help us expand these brackets. Okay, and this method that we're learning is called the distributive law. And as it says there in the brackets, our preferred method. This is the way we want you to do it, please. All right, so we're going to multiply whatever is at the front by the first thing in the brackets, multiply. So five times X makes 5x. They just sit next to each other. Multipli multiplying things, they sit next to each other. Remember that? Then in our bracket, we have a plus sign. So we're going to have a plus sign here. And we're going to multiply the 5 with the second thing in the bracket. 5 times 3 is 15. And that's it. 5x plus 15. That's the answer. Let's do it again. Practice makes perfect. So let's multiply three times the first one in the bracket. Three times A makes three A. 
Then we have a plus sign in the bracket. And we multiply the second one, 3 times 2b. We multiply the numbers together, 3 times 2 makes 6, and the b sits afterwards. That's it. Let's go again. And 8 out the front. So we go 8 times a is 8a. This time we have a minus sign in the middle, so we just have a minus sign in between. And then we go 8 times 4, which is 32. And one more. We have 5a out the front. So we go 5a times 3p. When multiplying, multiply the numbers first. 5 times 3 is 15. And the letters collect up afterwards. So I, I have an a and a p multiplied together. So 15ap. Then I have a minus sign from my bracket here. Then I multiply 5a times minus 7q. So 5 times 7 is 35, and the letters build up at the end. So I will have an a and a q from that multiplication. All right, so practice that over and over. Remember to check your answers. So you are doing exercise nine. You can see lots and lots of these to practice. Exercise nine on page 39. And then there is some more on page 40, some more on page 41. And this section here on page 42 is for the advanced people only because these involve a little bit of collecting like terms after you have expanded 